If you guys are wondering where the SDCC announcements are for day two, it'll be at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going into EB Games, actually. I'm really excited about going in because there could be some new stuff. I don't know, we haven't been here in a little while, but anyways, let's go in and see what's new. All right guys, so here we are back here. They do have some pretty good stuff. I did notice that they have the Ghost Clan from Scooby-Doo. I love all of the Scooby-Doo figures. Those ones look really great. Um, they also have Pokemon in here, Mewtwo, Pichu. They don't have Vulpix. It's the third one, I think, from that set. So it's going to be cool to see that one eventually. Um, I do own it already, but it's nice to see them out in the stores. Um, they do have Toonami Tom. We've got some of the Rick and Morty over here. We Bear Bears. Uh, what else do I see? No, did you get anything today? Are you getting anything? Possibly. Possibly. Uh, some Star Wars ones over here, some really great Star Wars ones actually. They've got Caddyshack, uh, The Lost Boys, not too much that's brand new because of course they're not getting in too much new stock, but it is still cool to see some good stuff. Here's some of the newer stuff guys, so they have the One Piece ones, how do you pronounce this? Or the newer, this is the newer wave. No. Yeah, this is the newest wave. No, it's not. Zorro's yeah. not out yet. Zorro. No, I swear this is the newest wave. Newest wave out? I, yeah, I I'm pretty sure. Zorro. There might be some exclusives, but I don't know. Anyways, doesn't matter. Um, these are newer One Piece ones. There are some pretty cool ones here. Usopp, um, as well as Matt from Digimon over there. That one's pretty cool. We've got Alita Battle Angel. I don't know. Some of the ones we've already seen before. I think I've shown this off recently, but I want to show it off again. Hey, so I think Noah's going to be grabbing this today. This is one of the One Piece characters. Who is this, Noah, anyway? Uh, Ace. Here, flip it over so I can see the back. Too. I it's think it's, just, it's, it's, it's only good. 50 bucks for this figure. It's not bad at all. I think this is going to be pre pretty big. How big does it say? Does it say how tall it is? Um, if it probably the size of the box. Maybe about 8 inches? Know, something maybe, like that? I maybe I, some, I don't know. Anyways, like it's, it's pretty big and it looks pretty cool. Alright guys, so we're over at the outlet mall right now and we're going into Hot Topic because I did see they got in some new stuff as well as some of the Minions figures. So let's go over there and see what they got. Alright guys, so this is the one that I saw on their Instagram and I think this is the only one I'm probably going to be getting today, but it is Kung Fu Kevin. I'm so excited about this one. Noah said it kind of looks like Kill Bill Kevin, if you guys have ever seen that before. I know they do have pops from Kill Bill, so if anybody wants to Photoshop that up, that'd be awesome. Maybe post it on the subreddit, but yeah, I'm probably going to be getting this today. Um, and then, I don't know, I kind of looked around a bit there. Most of the other figures that they have here I actually already own. Like the Kurama Noah and I got last time. That was the new one when we came, I think it was Friday maybe? Or Thursday? I'm not too sure. But um, I think this is probably all we're going to be getting today, but I'll still look around and let you guys know. Alright guys, so we got our pops over at Hot Topic, and I'll show you what we got back at the studio. Alright guys, we're now back from the store. I got some stuff over at Hot Topic. Noah did get his figure over at EB Games. I personally didn't get anything there. They had some new stuff. We actually went to two different EB Games, but they pretty much had the exact same figure, so I only showed off the one in today's video. But, let's get into what I got over at Hot Topic, because I'm pretty excited about the ones I picked up. Alright, so let's start with this one here. This right here is pretty cool. So this is from the new Avengers game, um, and this is Taskmaster. So from this set, I think I now have Iron Man, Captain America, Hulk, and Taskmaster. I think that's all the ones that I have. I don't know. I don't think I have Black Widow or any of them, but this one does look really cool. They had actually just got in two different Taskmasters at Hot Topic. One of them was from Black Widow, and then the other one was from this game here. So this is really exciting that I could get this one, and I want to get this one because it looks a lot cooler. That skull face I think is really neat. Um, there's also some glitter on it, so I don't know if there's any glitter on the figure anywhere, but the shield and the sword, and just all together, this pop looks really amazing. And then the other figure that I got was one of my favorites. Actually, this is the reason I wanted to go, because they I had this one and this one right here is Kung Fu Kevin. I'm sad they didn't have any of the other minions um, but they did say they were going to be getting in more stock I think tomorrow as of me filming so I'm super excited to see what they do get but this right here is Kung Fu Kevin and like I said earlier Noah thought this kind of reminded him of Kill Bill and I thought that was pretty funny because the, the orange jumpsuit or the yellowish orange jumpsuit um, I thought that was pretty funny. So out of the set now I actually got one a while ago from a mystery box. Um, I got Roller Skating Stewart. I would love to get all the other ones too. There's like the Pet Rock Auto there's the Pajama Bob. There's the Roller Skating Stewart 10 inch would be cool to see. 70s Bob, Young Groove, Pajama Bob. I, did I mention him? I think I did. Anyways, doesn't matter. It's a really, really great set. I do like a lot of the Minions ones, and they're getting more and more detailed every movie they make. So yeah, I'm probably going to get the rest of them as well. All right, guys, so that was all the pops that I picked up. Now, let's go over to day two for SDCC. All right, guys, so let me pull on the laptop here so we can go through these. I'm actually super excited about showing all of these off, and I really do want a lot of these figures because there's some really great ones today. But let's get started with this one here, which is the TMNT Michelangelo with surfboard. Now, I think Mikey looks great. Um, this has a lot of great detail to it. I also like how he's got like that hang loose hand going there. 
as well as the Kawabunga surfboard. This was actually one of the ones that we saw in the teaser photo um, before they had announced any of the figures. I also really like his pizza kind of swim trunks. I think that looks really great. Just overall, it's a really, really well done figure and I'm totally going to be getting this one. I also like that it says San Diego Comic-Con International right on the surfboard there. I think that was a nice touch. This next one here, guys, is one that I don't know too much about, but I want to show it off because I want to show off everything here. And this is the Samurai Jacks Scarmooch, I believe it is, if I'm not mistaken. This is going to be a Toy Tokyo exclusive. So I think this is our second um, Toy Tokyo announcement we've had so far for SDCC. They usually have like two or three, sometimes four, and then they put them into a bundle, or you can buy the most sought after one separately. So this one right here will be probably bundled with them on their website. It's a pretty cool one. I do like the detail on it. I've noticed that every single um, Samurai Jack figure has been a con exclusive, so I'm sure the original two-pack is going to get even more expensive. So it'll be nice for you guys who have that set. You can kind of work on it and get another figure for it. Oh, so I guess there was actually two more for the Toy Tokyo exclusive ones. We have some from Master of the Universe. So these ones right here are called Blast Attack and Claw I don't know too much about these. I know Bearded Pop Hunter is a huge fan of Masters of the Universe, so he would probably know a lot more than I would. Um, but these two here have some really, really great detail. What I like about it, though, is that they made them two completely new characters. I know that for a fact. They've never made these ones before, so it's really cool to see these. But they didn't just make the pops. They're also doing two soda figures as well, so they're doing the Trap Jaw. I don't think they've ever made a normal color Trap Jaw, so it'd be cool to see that one come out eventually, as well as the Moss Man. Now, if you guys might remember from yesterday's video, I think I left it in. Um, I said they should make a flock Thank <laughs> Uh, soda figure and then today they actually came out with one. It was the flocked moss man It totally makes sense because that older figure um, was actually flocked as well So it's really cool to see that one. Also, I think if they didn't make it flocked It would have been kind of weird. This next one here is another one for you invader zim fans This one right here is zim with mini moose I think this one is really really well done as well So I think this entire body is a completely new sculpt Which is always fun when you're making uh, characters and if people like to collect those lines It's fun to have a very different character instead of just something that's like different colors or it's chrome or it's metallic Metallic or something like that. So I think Zim with Mini Moose. I don't know much about it, but it's still really cool. Now, this is one that I'm really, really excited about. This is the first officially announced uh, Pop Disney Pixar's Remix figure. Now, I know they've made Remix figures with Hasbro, if I'm not mistaken, so now they're making them with Pops as well. This is the Alien as Kevin. I think this one's really, really well done. There has been some leaks of some other ones coming out soon. I hope they do announce those ones maybe just after SDCC. I think that'd be really cool to see, but I will be getting this as well as the entire set just because I'm so excited about these ones. And one thing that I really do like about the Remix figures is that it seems like they're making some pops that they've never made before in the remix line such as dot and they'll probably make more of them in the future as well. Here's another one that was also in the teaser before they had shown off any of the figures. This is Kat Yzma. Um, she also has that vial in her hand as well. That's what kind of gave it away in the uh, kind of like teaser or the silhouette of the character. But yeah, this one's also really, really well done. I like the way this one looks. It's got some really great detail to it. I'm excited to see what the vial kind of looks like. Is it going to be kind of translucent or something like that? I don't know. But I think the facial expressions on this really does look like her as a cat. And I think they really pulled this one off nicely. This next one here is actually really cool, guys. So this is the Tearaway Face Clown from Nightmare Before Christmas. This is the first ever um, Nightmare Before Christmas soda, so I'm hoping we get to see Sally, Jack, Zero, um, all of the other characters from the movies turn into soda figures because this is probably just scratching the surface of what they could do with the Nightmare Before Christmas ones. But yeah, I'm so excited about this. Also, this might be... Is this one of the first Disney ones they've ever done? I think it might be, because there's no Mickey or Minnie or any of those other ones that I would love to see. So I think this might be one of the very first Disney ones. So that's cool, kind of uh, breaking off into the Disney uh, section of what soda figures can be. I think that's going to be amazing to see a lot of those ones. But yeah, the first one that they're doing here for the Disney and Nightmare Before Christmas is the Tearaway Face Clown, and I'm sure they're going to be doing a lot more. Here's a line that I'm really excited about. This is the Office Recyclops. So this is the Recyclops V2. Um, so there was three different versions of it. There was the first one where he just kind of has the flower pot in his hand. Then there's this one where he starts to kind of get a little bit more uh, amped up about it. I remember he turns it into a whole kind of like storyline that only he follows. It was actually kind of funny in the show. It's like 30 seconds in the show or maybe a minute. It's the cold opening. So it's probably about a minute. Um, and there's three different figures they're probably going to be making. So this is V2 where he gets a little bit more into it. He's got a helmet on. He's got the football pads on as well. I think it's starting to get really, really funny, and I'm hoping they make the third one as well, where he kind of turns into like a robot um, mech kind of thing. It's really, really neat, so I hope they do make all three so we can have them all. Uh, but yeah, this one is really, really well done. I'm, I was wishing they were going to do more figures from The Office and not just one Recyclops, but I mean, hey, I'll take it because it's a pretty cool pop. 
This next one here is the DC set of figures. So these ones right here are pretty cool. And I don't know how to pronounce this one, but is it Ray's Al Ghul? I think it is, if I'm not mistaken. Then we have Black Lightning limited to 3,000 pieces and then Cyborg Superman. Now the Cyborg Superman one is probably my favorite of the three just because I know the most about it. I don't know much about Black Lightning or Ray's Al Ghul. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, but I did notice Black Lightning is limited to 3,000 pieces. So that one will probably be stuck on the Funko shop. So if you guys want to get that one, you guys are going to have to be quick about it. Here's another really awesome one, guys. This is the Mr. Freeze. Now, it's him, and he's supposed to look like ice, and I think this is really, really well done. Um, they also put glitter on it, so it's going to look kind of, like, shiny, but I'm hoping it's also, like, shiny and translucent, and I hope they didn't do too much glitter like the um, Diamond Edition ones. I hope they just kind of sprinkle it in to make it look very, like, crystally like ice. I think that'd be really, really neat. But yeah, this one here is just really, really well done. I'm excited to see what it's going to look like in person, because I think from what it looks like here, it's going to look really good. And then the last one that they announced here is the Sith Jet Trooper from Rise of the Skywalker. Now, a lot of people have been saying they don't remember this one in the film. I'm sure it was. Maybe it was a background character. I'm not too sure. And I mean, with the Sith Jet Troopers as well as Stormtroopers in general, they're kind of in the background, so you don't notice all of these things. This is probably in the background of some scene in the movie. Um, but yeah, I think it's really, really well done. I did not get the other Jet Trooper, so it'll be cool to pick up this one. All right, guys, so that's going to do it today, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And that was it for day two for the SDCC releases. I think a lot of those ones are really, really great. I think SDCC figures this year have been probably some of the best they've done in a long time. There's a lot of the ones that I really want to get, which is going to, you know, hurt my wallet, but uh, I think it will be fun to pick them up and show off to you guys. As well, guys, I did get some really cool figures today, and if you guys want to see more pop hunts like that where we just run out to Hot Topic for the newest stuff, let me know in the comment section below. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that, but this has been the episode of Top Pops, Popsters. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you're new around here, you should subscribe to keep up to date with the channel. I do upload every day after all. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. And you can always like the video if you know, <laughs> well, liked the video. And if a video every day isn't enough for you, you can always check me out on many other platforms. I do post pretty much every day over there as well. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that due to popular demand, we now have Top Pops merch. Yeah, I know, I know, you're welcome. We have a bunch of different designs and the shirts come in 16 different colors. That's right, 16 different colors. So there's literally a color for everyone. There's also phone cases, sweaters, and since so many of you asked, yes, we finally have wall clocks. I'll have it all linked in the description down below for you guys to check out. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today and I'll see you guys tomorrow.